Everyone has their own unique reasons for getting into fly fishing. But I feel like there's always someone who has an influence on them getting into the sport. For me, it was my cousins. Feels like fun. Look at that. Oh, that's a beauty. That is so pretty. There's a yearning in the world. Oh, he's in a war. That's a good one. It's probably a good spot. Got him. Nice. Take me down. Take me down to the water. I need time. Oh, dude, that's pretty. With the sun lamp, I can get out of the way. Give me time. I remember the early days, sitting around a TV the night before a fishing trip, watching fly fishing movies from out west. We were in awe of its scenic nature and couldn't help but imagine what it would be like to fish out there. Every year we would talk about making that trip, but every year those plans fell through. Finally, an opportunity came about when a friend reached out to me, wanting us to come make a fishing film in Montana. It didn't take much convincing for me to be sold on the idea. So with some decent planning and budgeting, we were on our way to making this whole thing happen. A trip that had been in the works for years was finally becoming a reality. And who better to enjoy that trip with than with my cousins David and Charlie. The old channel, I have all employees here at United Airlines. I'd like to thank you for flying with us today. We certainly appreciate your business. Hope to see you again on a future flight. Have a good stay in the uh, Bozeman one day. Let's go, baby. Alright, well, we made it. We're in Montana. We're, we're actually here. It's, this is nuts. Got the OG Wildfly crew back together. We got Dave here, my cousin Charlie, okay. aka Chuck this Dynasty. Week. He Look flies in tomorrow. Week. And then linked up with our buddy Charlie. He's going to take us out. Um, we're going to be spending some time here a couple days. And yeah, we're going out tonight. We're going to fish kind of like an evening hatch or whatever in and, and the Gallatin, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And I, I really just am so excited. I, I can't wait. Been a long time coming. Been a long game. time coming. First time in Montana. So. Should be fun. We're gonna get all the gear set up and then we're gonna head out to the river. Oh. Down, what's the plan? Chubby do a fing Drake. Oh, sorry, I should probably do first. <laughs> talk to your doctor before, talk to your uh, local fly shop. It's not something you want over the counter, make sure. But if you, if you have some dry fly dysfunction and you, they just you seem to be going down, you can't get them up, this will do the trick, usually. But again, as always, if your fly stays up for more than four hours, make sure you consult your local fly shop. Did it myself to keep good faith. See him? That looks sick. He just saw rising on the way up. There ain't much these days to celebrate. My hoodie, oh my face. I need to. Give me to. Got that? Oh, flipped it. There it is.
here, babe. Welcome to MT, boys. Chuck Diesel. He just texted me that he was at the gate like super early this morning, and then you know I was asleep because of the time change, and uh, then got another text basically saying that there was a flat tire and a problem with the plane, and there's going to be a seven-hour delay, and that seven-hour delay turned into a flight to Detroit, and then to Salt Lake City, and then to Montana. So he's weighing his options right now because he would only be here for two days, um, and so he's trying to figure out whether or not it's worth it, which it is. But we'll see. Hopefully. I get it, it's gonna be like 12 hours of travel, so yeah, it's not, that's never fun. With Charlie's flight delayed, we decided to change up our plans and head to a section in Idaho to target some cutties. We were bummed he couldn't join us until later, but we weren't gonna let that ruin our day. Our time out west was limited, and we knew we had to make the best of it. Power rate, power rate. Follow your fishing performance, dudes. I think they sponsored Dwayne Wade and Wildfire Productions. Don't drink the water if you can't see through it. Get up, I'll give you something to make you feel alright. I know you really wish you met you knew, but you don't. So come on, honey, let's romance all night. You light me up when I'm in trouble. I'm only looking at you. Am I enough? I'm seeing double, cause I've been drinking for two. Woo! He ate the, uh, ate the rubber like, oh man, dude. Oh my god, this is my favorite fish I've ever caught. Don't drink the water if you can't see through it. Get up, I oh. give you something to make you feel yeah. alright. But you don't, so come on, darling, let's romance all night. You light me up when I'm in trouble. I'm only looking at you. That's a little bigger, yeah. <laughs> Did he come off? Oh, no. Like she does, right? Look at that, dude. Gonzo. Woo! Let's go, dude. Let's go. First one. What is? What if it's? Oh, is that a fish? See what he was just doing? That was like a 20 inch brown going for a sculpin. Did you see him? He ate the sculpin. Like, I mean, brown. I was looking at this. It was like bouncing off of him. I'm coming home and I'm home. Oh, yeah, good fish. Let you go. Yeah. Those are massive. 
says he's standing. He oh, should be standing out here. There he is! I'll get out. Finally got to the river. We had to pick up Chuck from the airport. He had just absolutely terrible day at the airport and traveling with just a canceled flight and a delay and just a whole deal. He was supposed to get here at 11 this morning, got here at 6 p.m., which is a huge bummer, but uh, we're fishing the Gallatin again. There's like a little bit of a green Drake hatch coming off and I literally can see these fish going off. They're going crazy. And so we're gonna see what we can do. Um, pull up the camera if we can get some fish, but um, I am lost for words and I know when I go back home, I'm definitely gonna, gonna you know, talk about moving here one day. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck Diesel, baby! I'm Hello, Bluebird. That's crazy. <laughs> Hello, Robin. Which is big for the Especially like. Don't buff it! On top of the morning. Woo! How's it going? Oh, uh, little first fish of the trip. Charlie's got how many hours of sleep? Oh, yeah, like zero hours. We Fresh off the plane, baby. Just got him. On the dry. Got him. Plane fish. Dry. See ya. There he goes. Hello, yes, sir. Good. Sweet. Look for my sweet. Ah, uh, rain brown. Nice <laughs> 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 comeback. We just stopped by, uh, or we just stopped through Ennis at Trout Stalkers and got some flies. And now we're here at Upper Madison. Between the lakes. Between the lakes. Not uh, the upper. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna see what we can do today. It's our last day here in Montana. Pretty freaking stoked. Chuck's first time fishing this section. Got a good feeling about today. Looking back over my life, spent the most of it tongue tied. No wish I'd had more time. So we've been fishing Madison for a little bit this morning, and um, you know, honestly, fishing's been pretty slow this morning. But this, uh, gosh, I, I just can't get over how insane this place is, and the fact that people get to live here—it's it's actually just unfair. But yeah, you know, today's our last day, and kind of the goal for today is just really take in as much as we can. The, the last couple days, you know, we've filmed a little bit, fished a good bit, and. You know, honestly, it's it's really hard to film here just because, you know, you pick up the camera and you're like, what's the point? It's it's just, you can't even capture it, you know? Also, it being our first time, you know, we didn't want to film the entire time, do everything, because we do want to enjoy the actual fishing, enjoy what we're doing. We're gonna step down here, we kind of moved across the river and see if we can't get into some fish right here. So it's windy as hell right now. Earlier I went downstream, kind of solo from everybody, solo from Charlie. Caught a super nice rainbow, like 18 or so. Didn't really get a video of it because I, I just needed to release the fish. Super cool. And then Charlie, of course, catches a 22 inch brown while I'm gone. Luckily he's with the other guys and got a quick GoPro video of it. But uh, we're just working this bank right now in absolute crazy windy conditions. Probably not that crazy for y'all. <laughs> Pretty weak. Pretty weak. Every day on my mind, it took away. Are you a life force? Thinking about her every day on my mind, it took away. Are you a life force? And it's so easy to be blinded by the light, to feel lonely in the night. And it's blowing in. I got dust in my eyes, rust in my mind. I'll be home come next spring. Don't you say you love me later? Bye and bye. Oh, see that one right there?
nie? Oh! Oh, God, he missed it, he missed it, he missed it. Do you see it? And what a way to end it. It was slow. Well, it wasn't slow for you guys, but it was slow for me earlier today. And to kind of end it with this scenery, this light, and uh, fish eating dries is such a great way. Gonna, gonna leave here with a great taste in my mouth.